Nix is playing over Kano Park. Seems like Lino 47. Hope I don't overheat. <laughs> hey guys! Hey! Welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Moon. So we're at the. Bella well, Volcano Park. The Firebirds bright and hard here. Alright, yeah, and we have to climb the volcano because there's our next trail up here. And there's a stone here. Here we go. Crush it. What's the any Oh, it's a sticker. Aha. Uh -huh. Those clever bastards. Guys. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say bastards. Yeah, just in like the Pokemon episode I was yeah. talking about how I'm not. <laughs> ah, it's I'm not challenging. cursing a lot. <laughs> Yeah, swearing. Go, Paprika! I know you can do it. This is like poison fire, right? And it's yeah. a guy. Not interested. <laughs> Not interested in guys. <laughs> no, it's like um, only this is a species where only the females can evolve. So um, I wouldn't say the males are useless, but it's like if you want them to um, get to their strongest form. Oh Jesus! You should be focusing on the females. Hmm. I've had many people say like they were like, "Oh, this Pokemon looks cool." They caught it and they trained it, and like, how does it evolve? It I trained it to level like fifty, and it is still hasn't evolved. Is it really that late? And like, no, only the only the females evolve. Jesus, this ah, it's because it's Dragon Rage. It has fixed mm. damage. I guess you're just gonna have to sacrifice someone. Here's some Psy Beam. Oh, nice. Ah. And there we go. Yeah. Super effective. Nice. Well, yeah, Dragon Rage is really scary, like early on. Yeah, and then it slowly becomes a little. Ah, uh, it's it's so good. Listen up, Ruby. Speak a few advice you didn't ask for. This it. Pokemon sent is so nice now, but don't forget to go and rest once in a while. But your mom misses you too. We should make like count of how often he has done every advice. No, we won't do that. I'm not, uh -huh. I'm not gonna force that on you. Oh, Magpie! Were these so here in regular Simon? I never saw them. I think they might have. They're so cute. Yes. Also, like, um, we've been using this team like forever, but if you ever see a new Pokemon you wanna use, like, you can say, like, oh, I wanna catch this and use that instead. I like, kinda wanna use new Pokemon? Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, um, like, um, I mean, I guess Caesar and Scudillus are new, mm. and Paprika isn't either. But Paprika yeah. might have a new future. Unlike old futures. <laughs> mm. But it's so like. So I might want to catch one of those sandalets. I'm fine with our team as. Yeah, we don't have a fire type. Yeah. I'm fine with our team as it is, but it's like if you ever feel like, oh man, I guess I kind of want to do oh, no. a new Pokemon, then we can do that. You can switch her. Yeah. Can I switch her though? No. Okay. Because I guess she just got caught by fire. We don't get quick attack, do we? No. Not on her. Roto HP is restore. Activate. Rooting power unlocked. That's it. Oh, Rotom is cute. Yes. Pikachu is turned to bits and it was perfect kind of Pikachu. I do would like to have like a slider of how much Rotom quote unquote helps out. Yeah. I mean it's it's weird Rotom didn't use to randomly talk like this, but I, it's kinda like, you know it's not easy to it's not hard to avoid. It's not like um you can't do anything as long as it's talking. Yeah. It's more like um But well it it's it is kind of in the way if you wanna look at the map. Yeah. But it's also like it goes by by its own and stuff. It's it's not like where the game goes through a screeching halt just to let him talk for a bit. Mm. It could be better, but it could be a lot worse. Yeah, I guess. But I'm Oh shit, no. Hey Lou, what do you think of Professor Kukui? I respect you. Me too, he knows a lot about Pokemon moves and he's super nice too. He even let me meet you, Lou. Pretty sure we also had that conversation. Yeah. It would be nice, um Oh my gosh, it's Trigo. Show me a Pokemon. Let me see the sights. Would be nice if like Rotom wouldn't ask things twice. It would be nice if Rotom 
had more variations, a little bit more. Yeah. And I know it's like people are gonna play this game for like 500 hours sometimes, so it's hard to make it super varied so that everyone will never see something twice. But oh. I just think that if Rodom talks like as often as it does, then it should have more variation. Yeah, yeah. It could have still have like the same amount, but then talk a lot less. So you don't yeah. encounter them. Also, as often. it could be like um, more variation and a bit, uh, yeah. a little bit, a bit, a lit of less talk of of less talking. You know, mm. like both. Why not both? Um, I think it should be like that. Um, on your average yeah. playthrough, you wouldn't see stuff twice a lot. Maybe twice a little bit because sometimes you're like, oh, I wonder what he'll do if you say the other thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. But not all the time. Oh my gosh, I lost a trigo, an authentic Alola experience. It's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Listen up, Louise, we give you advice you didn't ask for. Did you know you can register a right for one with a bloody? It makes them easier to call. Yeah. Just whenever his eyes glow, I'm like, oh, it's, it's super villain Rodom. It's yeah, roll, 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 roll time. time. Woo. Yeah, I'm. I don't like that I cannot walk during Rodo Lodo, and like I also have to wait for him to explain what it is. Yeah. Would be nice if you like maybe had like um, where like when his eyes glow yellow, it's Rodo Lodo time. He could either push like the left eye, like no, I don't need it, or yes, give me, mm. <laughs> or something. Yeah. Like, like have one of his eyes be have like an O and another have an X in it. He was about to give me another advice. Uh, that's nice and all. Oh jeez, the fledgling! I I got it. I gotta battle it. It's 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 too difficult. Oh, Sorry, so I gotta concentrate for this. I, I really like, like fledgling. Yeah. I was very excited when like it was revealed. You know. Yeah, it's it is a cool bird. I liked it because. It was kind of like, remember when we like, were like making our own Pokemon game, sort of? We had like planned out ideas and stuff. Yeah. And I think we kind of had a, an idea where we also had like um, a Robin as a bird. Yeah, because that's a bird we have here. Yeah, I mean the Robins over here, they don't have a full head. <laughs> well, they have a full head, <laughs> but it's not all red. They yes, just, yes. They, they got a red throat. Yeah. And a chest, and that's why we call them Rotkehlchen, which means um, little red throat or red throaty. <laughs> yes, yes, Rodon is very nice. Oh, sorry, so many Pokemon here can't talk. Oh, it's a sandalwood. Oh, if you want to catch a sandalwood, we're gonna have to look for a female, isn't that right? Yeah, and they're very Damn rare. It. I remember. I'm really curious about your fashion. I remember I had to look for one for a really long time. And then I actually went and looked for one for a friend too, because they couldn't find it. I guess we could... no. It's like, I guess we could catch, catch a male and breed a female, but it's like we don't have a ditto. And yeah. also that's kinda... kinda takes the spirit out of it if you're doing it. <laughs> For a let's play a game. Yeah, I, I mean, in that case, I might as well, like, trade one from my other game. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with breeding. I breed a lot, but it's kind of like, if you do, like, a playthrough like this, it's kind of like, well, um, why not just get a legendary? What does Echoed Voice do? It gets stronger the more you use it. Um, supersonic, I guess. If you wish. If you wish. <laughs> you can decide. Yeah. Ta-da. I decided. I like this. Maybe we'll maybe we just um, proceed from now on, and next time we'll have a sandalit female caught. Yeah, I guess. We're not ending the episode here. That's yeah, yeah. not the next time. Yeah, next time. I, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that like um, before the rest of the episode is just us hanging out here. But this is a nice place. Yes, it is, especially with Rodom talking. Yeah. yeah. I, I rag on Rodom, but I love Rodom. What is your advice? I hear some restaurants give customers little yeah. gifts after me. I'm the cutest of the seismic sisters, a trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. This cave leads to the top of the volcano, just so you know. Alright. Volcano. 
And mm -hmm. now we enter the trial place, right? I think that might be the place. What oh, else wait. is here? Oh yeah, we can go down here. I think the first yeah. time I played I went down first. Just to just so I could explore it. But I think it's kind of meant to be like that you go here after you're done. But I still went here first. Yeah. Floatstone. Floatstone? I, f I don't remember what that is. Yeah, well... It's an English name. Item help a Pokemon. This way like stone reduces oh, the weight of a Pokemon. I health. think it's the Leichtstein in German or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just like it's... Rodan, please. Um... It's like, um... I'm the prettiest of the seismic sisters, a trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. This path here leads to the right side of the volcano, just so you know. Sorry, yeah. what were you saying? I was I was not speaking words, I was stuttering. Um, I'm the most charming of the seismic sisters, a trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. This path here leads to the left side of the volcano, just so you know. Would be cool if we had learned to voice her. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I wanted to say is, um, because of the name Floatstone, my mind kind of thought, wait, is this a stone that just gives your Pokemon the ability um, to float? Like, what's it called in English? Levitation? Levitate. Levitate, that's the word. <laughs> Allow me to show you the Ace Kadabra of an Ace Trainer. Oh no, Kadabra! No, Kadabra. I really love the Ace Trainer designs in this. They're so cool. Well, yeah, of course you love them. They were blue. Yeah. And they also wear like these cute hoodie vest thingies. Oh, mm. Very Great. bad. What so was it? cute. What was his German name again? It was like something weird. F-E-F-M? E-F-M. And it was spelled super weirdly. It was like, okay, um, that was the gen where the guys kind of got like really off the rails with Pokemon names, I feel like. Uhafnir. Yeah, Uhafnir. I mean, Uhafnir at least, it has like random capitalization in it to make the pun clear. Yeah. But EFM, EFM, it's just like, I don't, I'm still not clear if it's pronounced that way. Is it EFAM? It's just EFM. I think in the anime they pronounce it EFM. Uh, you don't know either. You can show the spelling on screen just to show people what it is. And if not, you can Google it. Mm, it's really weird. Um, I mean, I kind of appreciate Uhafnir because I like Fafnir. I remember there was a time in school where I would draw him a lot because we were reading the Nibelung lead in German class. Mm -hmm. So like, for those who don't know, Fafnir is like a legendary dragon from, um, from the Nibelung lead, which is like old... German, German-ish, Germanic <laughs> tales about a guy who killed him, and then stuff happened, and his wife went crazy, as usual in old mythology. But yeah, but I li really like this dragon Fafnir. I mean, he's mm. not a typical dragon; he's a lindworm, which means, um, well, it kind of depends on which version you're talking. But generally, lindworm are like are more like. Um, they're more snake-like than your average European dragon. And mm. sometimes they only have two legs. So it's kind of weird that they named um, Uhafnir after him, because that's a more typical dragon. But I still like the reference. Mm. Yeah. I think I would name my Gyarados oh, Fafnir. Like that. Oh, he just he says it because that's what you do when you lose. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe. Look, the design is so cool. It looks so cute. It looks like something you would want to design. Yes. Listen up, Louis, where I give you advice you didn't ask for. Did you know okay, you can register right Pokemon? <laughs> okay, Rotom. Yeah, Rotom. We love you. Kinda. <laughs> no. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. I am okay. I'm at the point where I think that maybe it wasn't just winter that made my throat so scratchy. I'm just dead. I'm just like that. Yeah, I mean, I have had throat problems for a while now, too, so yeah. I wonder, maybe it's Maybe it's air. something in the air. Yeah. I mean, I also, I also got allergies, so I easily get scratchy. I so, have um, allergies, though. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> 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 
I guess um, next time we'll keep proceeding across the volcano and maybe we'll be dead up dead guy. Yes. And maybe we'll I'm have a sandalit. We're gonna try and see how much stuff we are promising we can do next time because we got uh, <laughs> we got a lot on our list. Yeah. So look forward to that, whatever I just said. Yeah. Yeah, we will proceed next time. See you guys then. Bye. Bye. Bye.